What is up, Disney nerds? Today we have a lot of Disney news and let's get right into it. So first off, Disney just released a lot of new information focusing on the Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind over there at Epcot. I'm so excited for this ride, it's not even a joke. They've released the release date, they released the storyline, and it looks really cool. Um, it kind of looks like we're traveling back in time. So uh, I'm very interested to see what this ride brings about, because looking at it in the beginning of this video, um, it shows like these characters being like kind of blipped out or like uh, going reverse and it shows this lady uh, talking to the Guardians as the Guardians are asleep. It looks like Star-Lord is falling asleep so it looks like Rocket is going to be leading us in this adventure. That's my guess and my theory on what this ride will bring. I think that Rocket and Groot will be the main two Guardians of this ride. I feel like Star-Lord will be eventually in it, but I don't think he's gonna be a main character. I do think this will heavily be uh, Rocket and Groot, knowing that their statues are there. However, I'm not really too sure if this is gonna be older Groot, younger Groot. In the video, it was older Groot, and the story uh, elements, uh, it was older Groot, so I'm assuming that this will be older Groot. However, with the statue, there is a younger version of Groot, so I don't know what Groot we will get. Um, either way, I will be excited for it. I'm hoping it's the older version of Groot, but either way, I am so excited for this ride, and it will be coming out on May 27th, and it does look like it's going to be a very thrill factoring ride. And uh, from the looks of it, I think that there's going to be a lot of carts going at the same time, and I'm excited for this ride. And knowing that it's one of the biggest indoor attractions in North America, um, I'm so excited. And it's gonna be like nothing we've ever seen before at a Disney uh, park in general. Also, we gotta look inside of the Guardians of the Galaxy uh, ride. We gotta look at the uh, queue line. It looks very interesting. I think what you're seeing right here is the show queue. Um, and it looks very cool. Like So it looks like you're going to be stepping in as if you're going into a pavilion like you know already. Um, like I said in my earlier video about Guardians Info. Um, but yeah, it looks like you're going to be stepping into uh, Xandar. And you're going to be... I don't really know. Like I think it's going to be like you're getting sucked back in time and the Guardians are going to save you. That's my guess at the moment. But looking at this, it looks very promising and I'm so excited for it. Now let's move on over to Magic Kingdom. Over there in Magic Kingdom, the Tron ride has been uh, progressing very uh, good and smoothly. Um, now I think that they're around like 80 to 90% finished with this ride. They have finished putting uh, the layering over the top. Um, and they are now building the tunnel for the railroad attraction. And I noticed that there are windows in this tunnel, so maybe we're gonna get a good look from inside the train at the Tron attraction. Sort of like the train ride going through Big Thunder Mountain and uh, Splash Mountain. So this is gonna be very exciting. And hopefully it lives up to the hype, and I think it will. Um, and this train uh, going through the tunnel is going to be very cool because it's interesting to go through a tunnel, especially at Disney, and I'm excited to go through it knowing that we're going to see maybe some space uh, stuff, and it's going to be very interesting to see, definitely. And there's also a section in Tomorrowland next to the gift shop that is ne located near Space Mountain and Tomorrowland Speedway. It is a very narrow section, but that is the section you will have to go into Tron. So I don't know if they're going to be extending that because this is going to be a very busy section. Uh, whether that means they're going to get rid of the gift shop or they're going to like take half of the gift shop out. Or if they're going to remove a piece of track from Tomorrowland Speedway. Uh, who knows at the moment, but I uh, personally would like if they kind of removed a little bit of track from Tomorrowland Speedway, maybe curved it outward instead of 
or inward instead of outward or do something like that because I do like that gift shop. I like Tomorrowland Speedway but it would be interesting for a new track to be put in there. And they are putting in a new track for People Mover over there in Tomorrowland so that's going to be very interesting to see as well. Now let's move over to some Marvel news. This isn't really anything to do with Disney World but Marvel is still considered Disney so let's go into Marvel now. Now Sam Raimi has just talked about if he'll go into making another Spider-Man movie, Spider-Man 4, Tobey Maguire. And seeing as Tobey Maguire really likes uh, going into Spider-Man No Way Home without even reading the script, without even doing anything, he just hopped on board. I think he will return to do a Spider-Man 4. And Sam Raimi did say that he is downright for making a Spider-Man 4. He said uh, anything could happen. Really, like, as we saw in Spider-Man No Way Home, uh, he's down for anything, and he said anything could happen, like, in this world, like, especially with all this multiverse stuff going on. Um, he said, really, there's endless opportunities that you could do with uh, Marvel and Spider-Man. So that is very interesting to see, and I am excited for that. Now, what I think would be very cool is if they did a Miles Morales storyline, and I know a lot of people have been saying this, but I really would like to consider this as an opportunity. Like, maybe uh, when Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man was gone, um, and like, he vanished into our reality, what if Miles Morales uh, stepped up and became Spider-Man for like a few months, and then Tobey Maguire came back, and he kind of trained Miles Morales and sort of like how we got Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse and we get like a more Miles Morales um, original movie and I think that would be very interesting especially knowing that Morbius and Venom and all that are taking place in the Andrew uh, universe from what I believe I'm not quite sure but yeah technically all these universes are intertwined at some point we saw Vulture is intertwined with Morbius so that leaves maybe even more room for to Tobey Maguire and I'm at uh, Tom Holden and possibly Andrew Garfield if that is the spider-man that they're choosing um, so yeah this is gonna be very interesting and I hope that they will make a spider-man 4 uh, maybe this will conclude uh, Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man, maybe like killing him off uh, and maybe letting Miles Morales be the new Spider-Man and that maybe Miles Morales have his own trilogy. I think that would be very interesting and I would love to see that. And if they can incorporate new characters, maybe like Rhino as a villain or even Prowler. And I feel like this would be very cool to see. Now let's talk about Moon Knight. Moon Knight has been coming out two episodes. Uh, both are amazing. One of the best Marvel shows I've seen in a long time. But Moon Knight I really like. And here's a theory that I have for you guys. So everyone's complaining that the third personality, Mr. Knight or whatever his name is, um, isn't really in uh, like the character, like is in the body of Mark and Steven. They, uh, from everyone's point of view, what they think is that Mark and Steven are the only personalities inside this body. However, in the comics there are three, and everyone's believing that Steven is just merged. Uh, they pretty much merged the third personality and Steven's personality together. However, what I don't understand is what I believe that there is a third personality with inside uh, Mark and Steven's body, because this wouldn't make sense. So. Mark basically divorced his wife because he didn't want to have, um, he wanted to keep his wife safe. And uh, Stephen is very awkward around women and uh, doesn't remember asking this woman out in the first episode. And in the first episode, this woman goes up to Stephen and goes like, oh, we're on for steak, right? And everyone wants to believe, oh, it's Mark. But why would that make sense if Mark divorced his wife? to make uh, her feel safe. So he wouldn't really ask a woman out for steak if he wanted uh, her not to be safe. And she wasn't a bad guy or anything that we know so far. So my conclusion is that there is a third personality within this body of theirs. And he is, uh, he asked this girl out. And so I think that he will make an appearance eventually, hopefully, or this is just a loophole and I'm just digging too deep into this. But 
yeah, that's the Marvel news that we have right now. That's my theory for you guys. And in the comments, let me know if you think that's real or not. Uh, if you think that's a good theory or no. So, yep, this has been everything. This has been Disney and Marvel news. And that is it. Disney Nerd out. Peace. Thank you.